Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Simulation for the Nation and welcome back along to another top mod review by Manufacturer. And today we are looking at the mighty Fent tractors. Uh, Fent, of course, are one of the leaders in techno uh, technological advancements within their product range. And today we're going to kind of have a look at that. But more crucially, perhaps, we're going to be looking into the mods, uh, mod quality. We've got six uh, Fent tractors in front of us here and they go from small through to uh, large in terms of horsepower and also in kind of age as well. So we'll start with the older ones as we get around to the newer beasts over there on my right. Uh, but we're gonna start straight away. We're gonna jump on in uh, with our uh, Fent favorite 509-510 series. Uh, this is a mod by Trackfara and LB286. It's available for all platforms. Uh, now this guy, I... <sighs> There's two things I like about this. First of all, the model features uh, and the, the quality of the model, but also just the uh, various different configurable options there. And I've always said this common theme, configuration is very crucial for a good quality mod here in FS19. As you can see right now, we are in orange. We have got the municipal um, Nokian tires on. Uh, front loader configuration is in there as well. Uh, there's a couple of options for gear shift sounds that you can have either standard or with gear shift sounds. As you can see, all doors and windows do open. Uh, multiple, multiple wheel configurations and also engine size configuration options as well. Uh, a lot of different changes throughout the uh, time. We currently have six different change logs. Uh, so when we come into the store here, I go into small tractors. These are the two options that you have here relatively cheap in comparison for a, sm uh, a small size tractor uh, as we come onto here though uh, so you can see you can choose between your trail bug and your Nokians there you can bring in a Yara sensor for your uh, fertilizer you got GPS options there you can have both in there as well uh, you can even put a front PTO linkage on or not if you would like one uh, and yeah and your front linkage uh, to boot it's a really nice little model it's very detailed as we jump inside it as well uh, you, yeah, it's like it's very simple as of the time really, but yeah, everything is there. But what I do like, even at this stage, you can see that Fent were trying to push the way with uh, removing the number of levers and physical buttons you had and, and switches and moving just to kind of press buttons there as well. So ultimately very nice detailed interior as well to work on there. I have one of these in one of my series at the moment. It's, yeah, it's a very nice little vehicle. I do like the configuration as it's set up here on display as well. So that is the Fent favorite 509 from Trackfarer 2003 and LB286. And this is where we jump up to the bigger horsepower. Uh, we are looking right here. This is the faint favorite 824. Uh, now this is by Smetty. He features twice in this series. He, uh, a good producer of some great looking models. I love the, the shape of this. This is the first major fent that I saw in this kind of wedge shape here. And it's, yeah, it's an absolute beaut. Uh, this guy comes in a variety of horsepower ranges from 160 all the way through to 240 horsepower. This was produced in approximately 93 through to 99. So six range, six year period here. So it is, I mean, it's still a nice looking tractor, but by it's, it's, uh, it's 20, up to 27 years old right now really so it's still a bit of an old girl but it's a it's a cracking tractor uh this one in particular comes with um a, a forestry version uh and if we jump on inside the configuration again is key uh you'll see that obviously we don't have the front linkage on there right now but that is available uh jump on inside again similar different options inside for uh the the design and the layout but with a little bit more uh, a few more button configurations added on the side in comparison Start this guy up there, it does sound rather nice. Uh, as we look in, we're jumping all the way up to large tractors now here, Fent, and as we come on all the way through, you'll see that you can change the main colors. So you have a plethora of colors to add it into there. You can change, obviously, for your Nokians and your trail bugs. Uh, and then as we come on down again, you can add, change up the size of the uh, engine, but you can also add in your weight block on the, your front linkage on the front if you want that. And you can also still stick a front loader on this guy so you get some, ch uh, Relatively cheap major uh, load of power here in my mind, uh, but yeah, I do just really like the old the old shape of this. I think it's a beautiful tractor. Again, it is available on uh, PC and consoles, uh, and that is a real jump up in terms of our power shift. Uh, and then so that is the Fent 800 favorite by Smetty. And then we jump on into this is a bit of a jump down, but in power, but a jump up in age. This is the Fent. Vario now 800 TMS. Uh, this is by Lexic Design. It's available for all platforms once again. 
This model is particularly good. It is very well detailed, very beautiful model there with lots of different features and options. Start with, there are two generations. You can either have the, the Fen 815, 817 or 818, or you can have the second generation uh, Fen 818 or 820. As you can see here, we've got the 820 Vario. Uh, um, it is just visually, it's just a very beautiful, well detailed mod there. I think it's a very, very nice uh, aesthetic of piece and mod to drive. We've got to jump on in. Inside, you can see again, great detail across. You can see that we are now on the new design of the, the Vario uh, carbon technology here. So we are equipped with a joystick and you got your initial uh, monitor over there, which does respond when you crank on the engine. Uh, joystick moves in accordance with the throttle movement when you go backwards and forwards, which is pretty cool. But again, very nice attention to detail inside the car. It looks like a very nice, clean model to be in. Uh, I particularly like is then you come into the store again you'll see here these are the two options so there's a 10 grand difference in between the two this is the one that we do have already uh, and when you choose on it of course you can choose between your nokians and your michelin and your treble tires there with a whole plethora of different options to boot with those twin wheel narrow twin reels just a sensational lineup there uh, now this is where it gets interesting because you can then add little trim features as well like the design line um, trim for the vent. You can add your front loader, a front linkage on there to boot as well. And you can also change out your, your engine variation based on the generation that we went with like we mentioned. Uh, so yeah, this is just a very, very nice model actually. I really do like this one a lot. And still, got quite a nice little um, horsepower range there as well. We're looking at 150 to 200. So already again, that's still a significant little, uh, a significant amount of power there to boot. But yeah, beautiful, beautiful model tractor there for sure. And then we come into one of the first Vario 900 series. This is the Fent 900 TMS Vario by Smetty once again. And this is a brute, an absolute brute. Uh, this has between 160 and 300 horsepower depending upon your configuration there it's an absolute beast it is it's the kind of the first with a major big bonnet at the front i remember when a local farmer of mine got one of these and i was very impressed by it i have to say this guy here has a 50k box uh it does have it's produced in between 2006 and 2002 so again it's still bordering on uh, uh 18 years old there uh which is pretty incredible as we jump on in You'll see it again and more attention to detail, which when you turn on the power there, you get your displays, uh, which all come through. And again, you get this, it's the simple features, uh, things like the joystick moving in, responding to your direction, and you change the direction to boot as well. If we come on into the shop here, we're gonna go back into the large tractors. Plenty of different options. Again, you have your wheel, you have your various different paint schemes to boot as well there. Black Beauty tractors just look incredible. Uh, you can change different side signs so they do configure to US spe uh, specifications there as well if you need it to, um, which is pretty cool. Now with the engine setup there, again, you have a few different options uh, going up to the 930 TMS Vario there, which will give you plenty of power. And you can also interestingly choose not to have a front linkage on there should you want, but uh, I would always go to, to stick that on. Uh, but yeah, it's a very nice looking tractor. There's a lot of detail in there. We're really into the top uh, top range of the power options here for fence. But again, Smetty has done a great job. This version with the new sound updates that's on the mod hub for all platforms right now does have a particularly nice sound when it's working under load. So keep an eye out for that one. Stick a big cultivator on the back and let it go, and you'll you'll hear an incredible engine purr from it. And then we're gonna move along to the next monster. And finally one which I've got spec'd out in the Black Beauty color scheme, which is just glorious. This is the Fent Vario 900 by Tom Truthen and Lucas2002. And first of all, just look at it. It's a beast. It's absolutely huge. This is the 930 Vario, so the big sister step up from this guy. Uh, and it is just all power. It is all power. Uh, so there's plenty of configurable, configurable options with this. Each model of engine comes with either the Profi or the Power version. Uh, and there are three different versions the 930 that you see here the 936 and the 939 uh which we'll jump into now and just have a look at um as we look at the interior here again we've stepped up to the new i believe this is the we go for the, this is the vario monitor we have in here so this will be the pro i do believe uh if we fire it up there lights and dashboard are all in sync you have your lights coming on in here as well um and then again, simple things with the joystick animation to boot there. 
Uh, but yeah, ultimately, as you can see, we have simple IC configuration on here as well, uh, which allows you to open and control all of your doors and windows, which is pretty cool. We always like to see that. It gives it a nice little appearance, a nice little tweak. Good lights on the front of it. But this is probably my favorite shape of fender, I think. It's touch and go between this and the 1000 series that we're going to get onto, but it is just rather incredible. It does look very, very nice indeed. Uh, and particularly when you get a spectra like this, I think it's incredible. Uh, so yeah, that's uh, plenty of power there as well. Uh, power range up to 305 horsepower there. So uh, you are going to get an awful lot of uh, potential. Uh, there are plenty of uh, animations and opportunities here. So you have your, if you're on PC, your keys will control the simple IC here. I don't know what the key bindings are for console, but they will be there as well. Uh, and so yeah, it's um, it is a great, just nice little feature there, just to have uh, bring a little bit more immersion into your system. Now, if you come back into the store, what's great about this? And a really nice feature that you're able to see. As I mentioned, there, there are two different options of engine sizes for every range. So if we look down at the engines here, we're on the 930 Pro for right now. But then look what happens as you change the engine. The monitor changes inside as you change from the Profi the vario power the monitor goes the profi you get the bigger monitor there so you're looking at this guy and then for the uh, vario it changes down to the, this uh, the smaller monitor so it's quite interesting to see that even that has been incorporated into this mod there so again it really does uh, reflect the true uh, inter interiors for this uh, particular tractor uh, and finally the crown jewel of all fence really this is the uh, this is actually the Agco 1000 series, so it can be, um, we can change the color scheme to reflect the, uh, the Challenger series as well, should you want to. But this here is the Fent 1000 by Ahran Modern. Now, again, available for all platforms there, the Fent 1000 series is absolutely huge. Uh, power ranges from 396 horsepower all the way up to a colossal 517, which is just huge. And yes, it's going to cost you a lot of money for that to start about 330,000. But, I mean, it's, it's just massive. Uh, and look at the way the paint shines off this uh, new bonnet here. Uh, the sheer scale of this thing is just incredible. It's absolutely huge. Uh, in real life, the front wheels on this tractor are actually bigger than the rear wheels on 150 horsepower Massey, which is just... Uh, a fair indication there for you uh plenty of configurable options on this one including different design choices for radiator grills seat colors uh, fenders brands you can stick a forest cage on this check out the new led lights that we have on here as well for the beacons uh as we fire this up here look at those guys there so they're a little bit different there with a completely different flashing sequence to the two tractors you have in the background again this has a uh, simple ic so your door and window does open as we jump on into the cab this looks like a whole new level of a spaceship almost in here. And check out that massive fridge. That is just huge. Uh, lovely internal design though. I, I love the fact that everything is now on the chair here in the series. So it swings with you on the armrest. Just a beautiful, beautiful design in general. Uh, really nice tractor. Uh, Ahren has done a great job of modeling this one. And as we look on into the store here, you'll see, like I say, the, the, the plethora of options available to you as the mod creator. Uh, we can see here if we go, we can change through all the different colors, but also just the different schemes as well. So this is our uh, fence silver, um, and then we have silver gray. Uh, you have the Jens forestry version, really, the special, which I think is pretty cool. And then you have your challenger option to boot as well there, which is kind of neat. Uh, and then again, this is a, a new feature that I really do love, the Vario Grip uh, edition. So it allows you to... In real life at least to control the pressure of the tires from in inside the cab there and that is reflected through here as well i wonder if one day we'll be able to see that option coming into into uh play in the game stick on your forestry cages there it looks pretty mean and then you can change your beacon lights to include the uh, fancy leds that we've just seen there uh even one thing that we do need to change we change the air horn on here <laughs> To a ginormous ginormous air horn uh, and that is it that's a beautiful track to just look at the state of it it looks incredible i'm sure you will agree even the detail right down to the front end here i think it just looks beautiful it really really does uh one of the biggest tractors you can get in game actually at the moment there uh, one of the fastest that's for sure uh really does kind of take away the need for something such as a, a quad track uh depending upon your needs 
Uh, and that is it. That's where we're going to leave it today. That is our top six uh, Fent tractors for all platforms. I do hope you have enjoyed. I have been Simulation for the Nation. If you do enjoy this kind of thing and you yet to do so, don't forget to hit that like button, smash that subscribe button, and join us next week for another one where we'll see, uh, take a run down with another brand uh, and some features that there are to offer there. Until next time, though, have yourself a great time. Enjoy whatever you're doing. Stay safe, and we will see you all in the next one.